it's a lot y'all like it's a lot and I have like I said when I first started I did not want to tell you everything as I was actually doing it because I knew when I had the 5,000 here, the 3,000 there, the two over here, the 29, 200, 300, I already knew that I was going to have a lot of money spent. And because I did not use um, one company for everything that I didn't see how much money I spent. But the grand total of it all, you guys, the grand total of it all is, if you are already tallying it up at home <laughs> using your phone or using a calculator, you will see how much money that was. So the grand total. Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra, if this is your first time here, and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything luxury or high-end candle making business tips. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, now in this video, we'll be discussing the candle making cost or how much dinero do you really need for your candle making business as your startup cost? Whew, this is gonna be a long list. So, the first thing is first. You don't need a lot of money, but you do need cash. And by a lot of money, um, I mean anything from $5 to $10,000 depending on your budget. So. Anything that you consider a lot of money for you can be whatever you want it to be. Um, so in this video, we'll be discussing um, how much money we're going to start up with a actual candle making business. And in my case, it will be a high end candle making business. Now, with that being said, in my opinion, you should start with listing everything you need for your candle business before you start your business because um you won't know exactly how much you're going to be starting to spend um, before you even get to that point because sometimes um you have an idea and then you just go ahead and just assume that because everybody else is doing it therefore you could do it yourself or sometimes you just feel as if that um, just purchasing all the items all at once and um, you don't really think on the long run how much money you're actually going to be spending until you like have all your foot into the actual business and then you realize oh my gosh um, this is very expensive so um, I'll give you what I've done so that you'll know how much or how much more or less you'll be able to um, put into your business when you get to that actual point. Now, I will have a PDF version of this list along with the amount of money that I have spent for each item. And I will also have in the PDF a link to all the supplies that I purchased in the description box. If this list becomes too long that I can't actually add it to the description box, I'll just leave it as just the PDF link and then you'll just um, go to that link to see exactly um, all the list of items that I use plus the actual amount of um, things that I actually use as well. So um, I made this list a few days ago and right before I filmed this video, I actually added all my expenditures and I spent a lot of money, like a lot, a lot. And I guess I didn't realize how much I spent because I wasn't spending it all at once and I wasn't spending it all in one place. So I spent from um, California candle supplies, I spent from Aztec candles, I spent from candle science, I bought 
a lot of stuff from Amazon. I bought from um, Overstock. I purchased from Office Depot, Home Depot. Um, I've also purchased from SKS Bottles. I purchased from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I mean, you name it, I think I probably purchased from that location. And because everything was not in one um, uh, location, like I said before, I, it didn't click until I actually added everything up. Now, in this list, I didn't include my product photography pictures on this list because I haven't hired um, that photographer yet. I also didn't include my shower gel containers, um, my freebie room spray vials, my room spray bottles, my, uh, my diffuser bottles or reeds with that, the refill bottles um, or the foot scrub bottles or the items that I utilize to make all these uh, um, products because I also, I, because I only wanted to focus on the candle making side of the business. So, because I know that everybody is actually using um, the same, all the same items that I'm using. So that's why I only focus on the candle so that you'll know exactly, um, or more or less how much you will be able to spend if you follow the same, you know, line of business model that I am going through. Now, at the end, I will tally everything so that you guys could see exactly to the T, well, not to the T, but to everything in, including in my candle business, how much I spent. Um, and I'm also not including uh, items that I no longer use, such as my tin cans, the product boxes that I had, uh, that I used to use, and other miscellaneous items that I thought I was going to use but ended up being a wasted idea and a loss of a lot of money so um, those items I'm not including in this list however I am including the product um, boxes of all the packaging that I have because um, I purchased all of those together in one company and um, and they also are including in the actual candle side of my business so that's why i left the product boxes in the whole tally um so let's get started and let's see how much money i spent or how much money um you'll see how you could implement in your business so um i will be looking down from time to time because i don't remember all of the actual um, uh, numbers. So I will be putting it on the screen, either to my left or to my right, or probably I'll put it, you know, over my face if I'm looking too, too much um, down and so that it won't be like a distraction for you guys. So the first thing that I have on my list is my, is my vessel. And I have six ounce, six ounce jars and nine ounce jars and i also have 22 ounce jars which are um uh 16 ounces total weight four ounces total weight and six ounce total weight so technically i have six four and 16. now for all of those together it was a total of two thousand two hundred dollars um and the next item that I have on my list is the scales. So I have two different scales. One of them is for shipping and the other one is for measuring my actual waxes and my fragrance oil. And the reason why I have two different scales, obviously one is for shipping and the other one is for um, uh, just fragrance oils and waxes because I do spill a lot. So that's why I do have two and actually i just purchased another scale because the one that i had for um weighing its um fragrance oil and waxes have went into the little crevices of the actual scale so i had to purchase another one so i didn't put it in this tally yet because i i'm still waiting for it but it is money that i already spent so for this for the scales it is 55 dollars 
and 98 cents. Now, pictures. To start off with pictures, you should at least have two four pounds pictures and then one two pound pitcher. If you're making wax tarts or if you're making smaller batches and you don't want to use the, the big four pounds. So I do suggest to have at least two two pounds, um, at least two four pounds and one, um, and one two pounds. So I have four uh, four pounds and I have two two pounds. So that is $67.70 total for all of those. Now for the funnel pitcher, um, I have two, which came with three. So therefore I have a total of six. So that is $34.47. Now wicks. Wicks, oh my goodness, I've spent so much money on wicks because I was looking for the one that I really, really like and I settled for two different wicks that I use consistently. So I use the HTP wick and I also use the CDN wick. So um, for this, I'm going to say that I've spent so far $350 and that's just assuming because I couldn't find all my receipts for this one and um, I couldn't remember which company exactly have I purchased them from so that's why I don't have the exact amount so I'm going to put $350 but I'm pretty sure it's way more than that because I do have a lot of wicks and I have so much wicks that I think I could probably sell wicks because I have so much and um, now the next option will be a uh, wick setter tool. The wick setter tool, which is optional, you don't have to get the wick setter tool, but in my opinion, it helped me when I'm trying to just put one wick in the center of the actual container. And that one I got from Candle Science for $23.13. And I also have wick stickers that I purchased and uh, for that, it'll be a total price of $100.98. Now the wick holders that I have, and I'm going to mention here that I purchased a few different sorts of wick holders. I have the chopsticks, I have the cotter pins, I have the uh, popsicle sticks, and I have also the Wicked, the one that I'm currently starting to use now because they're very, uh, they're stabilizing. It's actually very good. And it holds it way better than the other options that I had mentioned earlier. So for this um, section, okay, sorry. <laughs> so for this section, I purchased um, a total of $208.26. So I was in the verge of trying to figure out which one was better. So, you know, I had to go through a lot in order for me to find the perfect one. Um, it might not be too perfect. It does have its flaws, but um, I did find something that actually suits my needs. But in the process of me trying to find it, I spent $208.26. Now, the next option here, if you are not going to use uh, wick, wicks, and you're opting to use wooden wicks and wooden wick tabs. And um, I put this in here just because I'm trying to see if I wanna use uh, wicks. I did purchase the sample set from um, Wooden Wick Co. And I believe it was $29.95 for that one. So I'll put that on the side because I didn't add it to this uh, tally because I completely forgot but I did add it to my list. If you are interested in trying to uh, use wooden wicks, I did um, tally that up from um, Aztec Candles. They do have some wooden wicks there. However, from wooden, uh, the wooden wicks from Aztec Candles, they come in sizes as small, medium, and large. I didn't particularly like those different options, but from the wooden wick, Co. their guy selection is very very good and it's very awesome so if you are going to be using wooden wicks i suggest you go to wooden wick 
Co. And they are believe they are the manufacturers of wooden wicks. So that's why their selection is way, way better. And their um, wick selection guide is also very good. Um, now my next one that I did purchase, and most of these I purchased from Amazon. Um, and I also put it also on the actual list too that I have um, purchased a lot of my items from Amazon and I put also there where I got each item from so when you get to that list um, so the I have a high heat gun and I purchased that for $17.99 along with a high heat glue for $9.96 um, I did order uh, a portable electric burner because I didn't want to use my kitchen to make candles because I didn't want to go back and forth from my candle making so, um, area to the kitchen. Plus, I already had a kitchenette in my uh, shop. So that's why I purchased a, a portable electric burner. And I actually have two. I have one that is a double burner and one that is um, a single burner and I purchased the double burner from Overstock for $83.99 and then I purchased the single one from Amazon for $39.97 and that comes up to $123.96. Now pots to boil your water to do your uh, double broiler method. I suggest you have two of those. One, like one of those big saucepan, uh, like a, you know, a medium sized saucepan, and then the big one, which is the casserole pan, so that you could put your small pitcher inside of it when you are doing your um, double boiler method of melting your waxes because you won't be, you won't get burned when you're trying to pick up the little one um, if you were to use the uh, saucepan. So get the, um, two of those. And I didn't tally up this amount to my actual uh, total because I already had those from before. So I didn't think I would need that, but it was approximately $60 since I purchased it from Walmart and it was a set. Now, this one is also optional, which is the Soy Light Melter. And this one, I suggest you upgrade it after you have mastered uh, using the actual uh, double boiler method and you have become comfortable um, using your double broiler method and you know exactly what temperature to use when you're using your uh, when you're melting your wax so the soy light melter is perfect once you become I don't want to say a pro or an expert or anything like that but once you upgrade it from your double broiler method then you could go ahead and do the soy light melter because this is just a you know a commodity and something that could make your life a little bit much more easier when you're making a lot a lot of candles a lot of batches of candles actually so this one you could get it from their actual website soylightcandles.com uh, or you could just get it from amazon it is the exact same price and that one they have two options one is the six quart for 89.95 or you could get the bigger option which is the eight quart for 149 dollars and 95 cents um and i don't have the bigger one i have the six quart one for 89.95 so that will be included in me on uh, my actual tally and um, now I might be purchasing the bigger um, the, the bigger melter but it's not going to be um, from soy light I found another site that has them as well but they're kind of expensive so I'm waiting for you know later on once I upgrade from the soy light to actually purchase it from them and once I do I'll let you guys know now waxes now waxes I think I've tried um, a lot of waxes I the only waxes that I didn't um, try was the beeswax or the palm wax or the gel wax I haven't tried those and I don't think I'm going to because I really don't want to um, add any more wax waxes or any more money to my already growing list so i'm gonna stick with the ones that i did purchase which was the soy the coconut and the paraffin that i purchased so this um list 
For this one, on average, and this is just an average, um, I spent $3,000 on wax so far. And next option is the fragrances. Now for fragrances, I think this, this is something that um, as a candle maker, you will be spending the most, your bulk amount of money will be coming from fragrances because fragrances, I believe you use that up more than the actual wax. Um, so for the fragrances, for me so far, I spent $5,000 on this. So that tally just woof, just went up through the roof. That's already $8,000 and we still need some more to go. Now, um, alcohol. Alcohol is very good to clean your surfaces, to actually clean the inside of your container so that your wicks um, could actually stick very well to it. So I suggest you um, get alcohol. And because I started purchasing things for my shop right during the pandemic, everything went up. So alcohol was a commodity that was not available. So um, we'll say that I spent about $50 on um, alcohol because of inflation prices. So $50, but it wasn't like only one. I have several, I have a lot of alcohol. So I'm not gonna get any more alcohol probably by the, until the end of the year. So I have a lot of alcohol. Now, I did purchase two different types of mixing rods. One is the metal mixing spoon that I usually use on my videos and that's the gold one. And that one was for $7.99. And then I have the glass mixing rod and they came with 15 and that one was for $10.99. So for um, the next item, um, I didn't add this up, so this is more more likely like $18 that I spent on um, the rods. Um, the next item on my list is the brown paper bag that I use to protect my actual surface. And that one, I got that from Home Depot and that is $10.97. Um, I use... Uh, infrared thermometer i didn't add the other thermometers that i used to use because one of them came in the actual kit that i bought and that kit was like 69 dollars and then i didn't add that kit either and um i also bought several different ones because i was trying them out and those were like five dollars from at walmart but i didn't add that either so the only one that i did purchase and I purchased that one from um, Home Depot and it was the Ryobi brand and that was for $39.97. But in the actual list that I have, I put the infrared digital thermometer, um, one from Amazon that is very popular and is way cheaper, $19.97, which I should have bought but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. But if my Ryobi one for some odd reason stops working, then I'll go um, to Amazon and buy the one for $19.97. Um, gloves and tissue are something that you will be buying um, on um, on average and you'll be ongoing spending money on that. So I will just put a hundred dollars for you know gloves and tissues every three months, maybe even less if you're making a lot of lot of candles. So a hundred dollars every three months. So a hundred times um, four will be four hundred dollars because you know there's twelve months, three, you know, twelve. So $400 on this one. So for uh, a scissors and trimming your wicks, I use two, I use scissors and I also use wick trimmers. And I have scissors, I'm not gonna count because I already had scissors from before. So scissors, I'm not gonna count, but I did purchase a wick trimmer and the wick trimmer set that I purchased was for $29.99, but in Amazon they do have individual ones for $9.96 but I, my tally will have the $29.99. Um, product boxes. Now, like I said before, when I first started, the product boxes is going to include all of the ones that I purchased so far. I'm not going to include um, the ones that are on there on the way because I am purchasing more than that. So for this, it will be $1,800. And 
that is just the ones that I currently have. Now the ones that are on back order, then that one is a lot more and I haven't even added to this list, but we're going with what I already have right now, which is $1,800. Packaging and everything for safe shipping, um, this will be like an added bonus because I don't purchase the packaging that goes inside of each one of my shipping boxes because I am recycling from the candle suppliers that I actually have um, put them in their boxes. So I keep all of them, all the um, packing peanuts and the bubble wraps. Uh, and I also have some from when I was moving. I kept every single one of them because I knew that I was gonna use them for my business. So that's why I um, did not purchase any packaging. But if in the future I need it, then I'll add that to my list. But as of right now, I don't need them. So I suggest that if you are purchasing a lot of candles from suppliers or anything candle related for your business and they do have packaging, in them such as the packing peanuts or brown paper or the actual uh, bubble wrap keep those because you will need them okay now the next item on the list will be a computer either a mac or a pc you could have a desktop or a laptop i'm not going to include my macbook pro in this um tally because i had that from before but if you guys want to know, that computer was $2,000. So yeah, that served me very well right now, but I will be upgrading to more memory because I'm out of memory, even if I actually um, purchase an external drive. And that comes into my next um, tally, which is the external drive, which I bought way before I knew I was going to start my YouTube channel and way before I was going to um no actually i did buy it in the process of starting my business but i bought it before i started my youtube channel but i did use it for my candle supplies because it was i was using too much memory so i um use an external drive now and i got one with two terabytes and that one was for 79 dollars and 99 cents and i got that from if it wasn't from amazon it was probably from best buy um, now this other option is cell phone or camera to take great photos for social media. If you um, don't have a cell phone that takes great photos or a camera, then you should purchase one to make photos of your product. I'm not going to put my cell phone in this um, tally because I already have my cell phone and everybody has a cell phone and I need my cell phone. So I'm not gonna put it in here. Um, the camera that I use to film, I'm also not gonna put it in here because um, the Canon M50 that I have, um, it was a gift. So that's why I'm not adding it to this tally. So the cell phone and the camera, I got saved on that one. So that is a lot of money that I don't have to include in my tally. So um, lighting. Now lighting is very important because just in case you lose natural daylight and you don't have time to take product pictures in the uh, morning or in the afternoon and you are taking pictures at night, um, then you will need an external light source. So I do have a ring light, I do have an overhead light, and I do have um, a box that is a, a box lighting kit, and I do have a photography lighting kit. So. All of that together was $248.92 and I purchased all of those from Amazon. Now, software membership. The software membership that I have, I think is a, a big chunk of my money because all of those are monthly payments and you don't notice the monthly payments until you actually add those all up for a year. Um, and I have membership with Canva, which is $155.88 a year. I have my website domain, which is only $12 a year. Um, I do have my Adobe Premiere, which has all the Adobe products, and I use that for everything. Um, and that's $29 a month, which is $559.88. My constant contact email service, um, that's $540 a year. My Shopify, plus the add-on apps that I have, is $2,148 a year.
Ooh, that's a lot of money. Um, now, I don't use a virtual mailbox, but you are going to need a virtual mailbox because when you do have your website, um, they require you to have your, um, you know, your um, address on there and you're supposed to have an address when you have your um, email service. So I, re I really recommend that you have a virtual mailbox or an actual UPS or USPS um, mailbox. Now for the virtual mailbox, they start out at $9.95, but I don't have that, so I'm not gonna add that to my tally. I do have a UPS uh, mailbox account, and I pay for that $78 every three months, so a year that'll be $312. Um, I do not recommend to get a P.O. box because a lot of documentation that you are going to need to fill out for your business um, requires you to have an actual address. So a P.O. box is not an ideal thing to have. So if you are going to get a UPS, um, actually USPS, I believe has P.O. boxes. So if you are going with the USPS option, don't get the P.O. box, get an actual address. And all of that together comes out to $3,527.76. Now, for the labor paper, care cards, warning labels, thank you cards, business cards, everything that relates to something paper related, um, I don't have now, but I used to use a lot of those that I used to print out myself. I do use some of those, but, um, I don't necessarily use them a lot because I outsource that. But if you are going to be buying paper, I, I recommend that you buy uh, paper, uh, sticker paper from Mill Coast um, because they are very good sticker papers and they're water resistant. So I recommend that you buy that from them. And they are on Amazon. But for this section, um, because I did purchase it from before, so in this section, I came up with a tally uh, hold on, ninety-three dollars and ninety-six cents. Now for the printer, um, the printer that I have is the NV Photo seventy-one fifty-five printer from Office Depot, and that one was for a hundred and seventy-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. And I got ink also for that, and I go through at least one each. Um, every other month so one for the color and one for the black and that came up to uh five hundred and twenty six dollars and sixty eight cents for the entire year now a good investment is a cricket a cricket um cuts and does so much more that you might need for your company um especially if you're trying to get uh an actual die cut of your labels then a Cricut is very good instead of you trying to cut it out yourself or if you don't really want to use um, ivory um, uh, sticker paper, then you could get um, a Cricut and a Cricut will cut it um, for you. Now, um, I purchased my Cricut Explore Air 2 from Amazon for $227 and that's not even including the accessories, which I'm going to add at least $200, but it's probably more than that. And that is a tally of $427 and zero zero cents so 427 dollars even um i have a cutting board i have two actually one of the little ones that are little sliders and then the one with the handle um they call that the guillotine um cutting board paper because i guess because you could cut something like that anyways that was 38 dollars and eight cents now for legal fees you need for the tax preparation services for your llc fees, your registered agent fee. Now you need a registered agent in order for you to file for your LLC because it is a lot better instead of you putting yourself as a registered agent because you need some someone with an actual address that's going to be there from Monday to Friday from working hours, which is nine to five to be able to receive legal documents for you. So I suggest you get a registered agent, but if you don't, um, you could use yourself 
but um, you can get into people getting into your personal information and knowing your personal address, which I'm, I, I'm assuming that you don't want them to know. So for all of those together, a year was $600. Um, shipping label paper, if you are doing everything yourself, then, um, then you'll just purchase the shipping label paper and then you'll just print it from your printer. But you can also purchase an actual dimer or a zebra label print, zebra label printer. And, um, I'll probably stick the amount cause I don't have that. So I don't really use it. Um, but I do have the sticker paper from the Mill Coast and that is what I, that I use. Um, I'm going to include these here because I did purchase these before and that all came to, um, $1,800 and that was for my actual, um, actually, no, 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 this, the $1,800 yeah, the $1,800 is for what I have right now. So I do have my business cards that I cut into um, little labels. I do have, but I don't use it as an actual business card. I use it as a label and to save more money. And I also have my thank you cards, my warning labels and all of that, which I outsource and all of that came out to be $1,800. Now for this section, the office supplies such as hole punchers, pens, pencil, notebook, stapler, stapler remover, all of those things that you use um, in an office, I put that for $200 a year because you don't really buy all of those all of the time or on a monthly basis. So I just estimated for $200 a year. And now my storage shelves, which I have a total of um, five plus my desk and my work table. All of that together came up to $683.99. Now, my last item on my list is my cellophane wrapping machine and the cellophane paper and all of that together came up to be $275. So now we're coming to the end and this is the grand total. It's a lot, y'all. Like, it's a lot. And I have, like I said when I first started, I did not want to tell you everything as I was actually doing it because I knew when I had the 5,000 here, the 3,000 there, the two over here, the 29, 200, 300, I already knew that I was gonna have a lot of money spent. And because I did not use um one company for everything that i didn't see how much money i spent but the grand total of it all you guys the grand total of it all is if you are already tallying it up at home <laughs> using your phone or using a calculator you will see how much money that was so the grand total twenty one thousand nine hundred and eight dollars and seven and that is just what I purchased that's what I told you guys that I have on my list and that is not even counting all the extra stuff that I did not include on this list that I have purchased that um, I didn't use uh, the uh, the little knickknacks that uh, I purchased for my business um, the sales tax, I forgot that, and the shipping that I didn't even add up to the, the um, amount that I have on here. So that $21,000 is probably like, whew, more than that. Um, it's almost 22 actually. So um, I suggest that you keep a tally of your products and everything that you invest into your business so that you can have all that information handy when it comes to tax season and so that you know how um, how to price your items adequately so you can make your money back and make profit because if you're spending 21,000 well yeah $21,000 and you're not making back at least twice that much because 
um, if you're not making money, then you're losing money. So you need to learn how to price your items um, so that you know exactly that how much you're spending and how much money you're coming back into your business and you need to make a profit. So you need to price your items adequately. And pricing your items is a whole nother beast in itself. So let me know if you keep a running budget of your expenses and what do you use? I use expect uh I use Excel spreadsheet, but I'm going to invest in a software that automatically adds all of that for me by just uploading the receipt. So that's yet another <coughs> subscription that I must add to my growing expense list already. So I know I have spent a lot and I know many of you will let me know in the comment down below. I already know you guys are gonna come for me that I could have saved by doing it myself, but I value my time and I like cohesion and I'm a high end and luxury brand. So my products must live to its name. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to um, take it personal if you're going to tell me that I spent a lot of money because I already know that I spent a lot of money and that's just, just for the candle part. I haven't even included there for my, my uh, vials, my other items that I have, my, sh my uh, shower gels, containers. Okay, so it's a lot. So I'm not even going to mention those, but I spent a lot of money. $21,000 just on um, candle supplies and that's just things that I didn't um, add in there. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So, don't forget to check out the description box below for the PDF file with the suppliers I use and the list of items I used as well. If possible, I would try to add um, all the list in the actual description box below so that you guys could see that. Um, if I can't because it is a very long list, I would just put it in the PDF so you guys could just download that um, They do contain affiliate links if you decide to purchase anything that I have on that list um, And I do earn a, a commission and it does help my YouTube channel if you do purchase those um, from those lists um, Don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below hit that notification bell to keep up with my videos and plus it helps other candle makers find my videos in the youtube website aside from you guys helping my videos in the youtube algorithm i do appreciate it when you do hit the notification bell and the um subscribe button because it does help me in the um in youtube and people can find my videos that way so thank you for watching thank you to watching all the way to the end if you have came up all the way to the end and realize that i am a big spender and i spend a lot of money Whew. Spend a lot of money so until next time bye, -bye.